Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. All right, a clear and calm night tonight compared to yesterday. We are indeed thankful. 28 degrees, so the chill is on, and these temperatures are going to drop a little bit over the next several hours. In all, though, we're looking at the uh, opportunity for some of that uh, wetness on the roadway to refreeze, so there could be a few icy patches. Right now, temperature has plummeted quite a bit. Decatur down to 22. Uh, Muscle Shoals at 25. Gunnersville getting a little bit of warmth off the water there at 36 degrees. It's going to be a cold night tonight. We will see the opportunity for these temperatures to uh, get down into the middle range 20s for most of us. A few locations will hit those lower 20s as well, and there'll be a lot of variation from point to point overnight. In all, though, we're headed for a quiet stretch. We had the sunshine this afternoon, which helped out with the melting of the snow and the ice. Now we are expecting to stay quiet on our Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. So no rain in the forecast for the next couple of days, and we will be in the clear. We're also going to be tracking clear skies over at night tonight. You'll notice our temperatures are varying between those uh, lower 30s, upper 20s. This is pretty much where the city center is going to stay for the overnight. But again, some of those uh, outlying areas could be a little bit cooler, especially at those higher elevations. The overall theme for tonight, though, is the possibility for many of these areas to refreeze if there's any wetness on the roadway. That could be a little problematic if you're an early riser tomorrow. Then tomorrow we promised you that warming trend. We're going to have the sunshine again and we made it to highs today into the 40s tomorrow we're going to be even milder and that means a warming trend will continue Wednesday into Thursday into Friday we could be looking at middle and even upper 60s by the end of the week so today's almanac took us from a low of 24 degrees this morning all the way up to 50 which is a far cry from where we were on Monday but the uh, overall trend for us is going to be warmer than average for the rest of the week and we were dry today uh, welcomed for that the overall theme overnight tonight is that the coolness could spark uh, maybe a little bit of a slow go for you in the early morning. We will begin out with some chilly temperatures, so perhaps if you have those early dog walking duties, it's going to be a little bit chilly. You'll have plenty of sunshine though. It will take a while to pull out of the freezing temperatures and into the middle 30s by 8 a.m., and we should surpass 40 degrees close to that 9 o'clock hour. So tomorrow's highs, much better than today, will be solidly into the lower and middle 50s by the afternoon, but we're ramping up a little bit of wind speed out of the south and southeast. We might see a few gusts late into the afternoon. The hourly temperature model holds us in those 20s for the most part, but the middle 50s will feel quite refreshing uh, for the last week of December as we move into Wednesday afternoon. By Wednesday night, that's a big change for us. Some cloud cover will come in, but these are fair weather clouds not causing any precipitation, but the overall temperatures tomorrow night will be much milder. We will not drop below 40 degrees in North Alabama. Then we are headed to near 60 degree temperatures for tomorrow, mid 60s possible by the end of the week. So the seven day forecast just gets better and better. Mornings get a little bit more mild. Daytime highs are looking better, but those rain chances come back Friday into Saturday, which could put a damper on some of your Christmas Eve plans. First day of the new year, sunny with a high of 63. Stay with us. We'll be right back.